Hello YouTubers, I'm Paris, and in this video I'm going to talk about Python best GUI frameworks for building this desktop applications. So as you know, there are a lot of GUI frameworks uh, that you can use in Python programming language. But in this video, I'm going to talk about most popular and powerful GUI frameworks in Python. Also, I'm going to show you an example and also an installation process. So the first GUI framework that we are going to talk is PyQt5. Now PyQt5 is a graphical user interface GUI framework for Python. Uh, it's one of the best powerful and popular Python GUI framework. Uh, PyQt is a binding of Qt5 C++. Uh, it is a GUI framework for C++ developers. You can create programs in PyQt5 using coding or using a Qt designer. So a Qt designer is a visual dialog that you can drag and drop UI widgets. Now uh, PyQt5 is a free Python bindings software open source widget toolkit and it's implemented for cross-platform application development framework. Uh, in the free version uh, certain features may not be available but if your application is open source then you can use it under a free license. So PyQt is available on Windows, uh, Mac OS, Linux, Android, uh, uh, iOS and also Raspberry Pi. So now I'm going to show you the installation process and also let me show you an example of PyQt5. Okay, for the installation you can simply use uh, pep uh, install, pep install PyQt5, hit enter and it will be installed. So I've already installed this and I don't uh, need to install this again. Now after this I'm going to import uh, from so from pyqt5.qt widgets I'm going to import queue application also I need to import queue main window Also, I need to import sys uh, like this. Uh, okay, now I'm going to create my main window class that inherits from Q main window. And this is my init method. And also, this is my super uh, dot init. Okay, now in here, the first thing I need, I'm going to set the geometry or it means this the weight height and also the x and y position for my window so this is the x and y position and this is the weight and height whatever you want you can give and also you can set the window title uh, for example pyqt5 window and also we need to show our window now after this we need to create the object of our uh, this q Q application and we need to pass the argument V uh, for this and uh, now we need to create the object of our window and at the end we need to execute our uh, application so sys.exit and uh, app.execute so for more information and for more examples you can watch my PyQt5 tutorials. So now let me just run this and you will see that I have a window in here. Now you can see that this is my window in PyQt5. Another GUI framework is called Tkinter. So Tkinter is the most popular programming package for graphical user interface or desktop applications. Uh, it's also it's uh, uh, it's bec uh, so named because of its simplicity and Tkinter is the combination of the TK and Python standard GUI framework. Uh, Tkinter provides diverse widgets such as labels, buttons, uh, text boxes, checkbox uh, that is used in a graphical user interface application. Uh, also the button control uh, we can call it widgets uh, that uh, they are used to display uh, and developed applications while the canvas widget is used to draw shapes like lines polygons uh, rectangles and etc in your application and uh, this is uh, tkinter is a built-in library for python uh, you didn't need to install 
like other GUI frameworks, uh, when you install Python programming language, tkinder will be installed automatically. So now I'm going to show you an example of tkinter. Okay, the first thing I need from tkinter, uh, I'm going to import all. Now I need to create a class root that inherits from tk. And after this, let me create my, sorry, my init method in here. So diff uh, init. And this is my super uh, root self dot init. Okay. Uh, after this, now I'm going to uh, set the title for my uh, window. Uh, let me call it a uh, Python tkinter window example. And also you can set the size, so main size for your window, for example, uh, whatever you want, for example, 500 or uh, 400 I want. And now I need to create the object of my root. So root, and after this I need to uh, start my main loop. So you can watch uh, tkinter videos and my YouTube channel. So now let me just run this and you will see a window. So now you can see this is my window for the tkinter. Another GUI framework that we are going to talk is PySci2 or we can call it Qt for Python. So Qt for Python offers the official Python bindings for Qt or PySci2, enabling the use of its APIs in Python applications and a binding generator tool that uh, we can call it Shibuken2 which can be used to expose C++ projects into Python. So Qt for Python is available under the LGPL v3 and also GPL v3 uh, and uh, Qt commercial license. So if you want for commercial use you can buy PySite2. So now let me show you the uh, installation process and also an example. So for the installation, you can just simply use pip install pysci2 and hit enter, uh, it will be installed. I have already installed pysci2. So now you can uh, import, so from pysci2, uh, from pysci2.qt widgets, I'm going to import q application and also a uh, q widget. Also, I need to import sys. Let me create my class window that inherits from Q widget. This is my constructor, so and a super method, so super uh, dot init. And now I'm going to create uh, the window title, so self dot set window title uh, by side two window and also I'm going to set the geometry so set geometry this is basically the X and Y position also uh, width and height of my window now I'm going to create a Q application object in here uh, this is my uh, loop so main loop for the window now I'm going to create a window object we need to show the window, window.show, also uh, app.execute, uh, okay? So now let me just run this and you will see a window in here. Now you can see that this is our PySci2 window. Another GUI framework that we are going to talk is called Kiwi. Now Kiwi runs uh, a Kiwi is an open source Python library for rapid development of applications that make use of innovative user interfaces such as multi-touch apps. So there are some features for Kiwi, for example, like uh, Kiwi runs on Linux, Windows, uh, OS X, Android, iOS, and Raspberry Pi. You can run the same code on all supported platforms. and. Uh, it can natively uses most uh, inputs, protocols, and devices, including WM Touch, uh, WM Pen, Mac, Mac OS X, Trackpad, and Magic Mouse. Also, Kiwi is 100% free to use under an MIT license. The, tool, the toolkit is professionally developed, uh, backed, and used. 
you can use it in commercial commercial products also the framework is stable and has a well documented api plus a programming guide to help you get started and uh, also the graphic engine uh the kiwi graphic engine is built in over opengl es2 so embedded system opengl using a modern and fast graphic uh, pipeline uh, the toolkit comes with more than 20 widgets all highly extensible many parts are written in c using cyton and uh, now let me show you the installation process and also a simple example on kiwi so before installing kiwi you need to install a, depend a dependency glaw so you can install this and i have already installed this and hit enter uh, it will be installed so i will add uh, this code in my blog you can check the video description and you can see a requirement already satisf satisfied All after that you need to uh, use pip and install kiwi and uh, no problem uh, okay uh, pip install kiwi and it will be installed so after installation now let me just show you a simple example of kiwi that how easy it is so you can simply from kiwi uh, dot app i'm going to import app and also from kiwi uh, dot uix dot button i'm going to import button let me just create a test uh, app class in here and it inherits from app and in here let me create a build uh, method and in the build method i'm going to return my button and the text i'm going to uh, give it it is for example hello kiwi world and uh, after this now i need to just run this uh, test app uh, test app dot run and now let me just run this and we will see uh, kiwi window so requirement uh, uh, let me just check i have problem in here so uh, in here we need to add also this now like this test dot run okay now you can see that this is our test and this is our hello uh, kiwi world so the last GUI framework that we are going to talk is wx python wx python is a cross-platform GUI toolkit for the python programming language it allows Python programmers to create programs with a robust, highly functional graphical user interface, simply and easily. It's implemented as a set of Python extension modules that wrap the GUI components of the popular WX widget cross-platform library, which is written in C++. Uh, like Python and WX widgets, WX Python is uh, open source, which means that it is free for anyone to use and the source code is available for anyone to look at and modify. And anyone can contribute uh, fixes or enhancements to the project. Uh, WX Python is a cross platform toolkit. This means that the same program will run on multiple platforms without modification. Uh, and the currently uh, supported platform are Microsoft Windows, Mac OS X and Mac OS and also Linux. So now I'm going to show you the installation process and creating a simple example. So for the installation you can simply uh, use uh, pip install wx python and it will be installed. So now we are going to create our first window in wx python. First, let me just uh, import uh, wx. So, import wx. So, let me just uh, import this. Import wx. Now, I uh, so in every wx Python applications, we have a top level frame, and in the frame, we have a panel that we can add our widgets like button, uh, buttons, checkboxes, and UI components. So, let me create a class uh, my frame that inherits from wx.frame so it's a top level frame and let me create my uh, constructor or init method and we need to give parent and also title in here and super
my frame self dot in it and in here the parent is uh, the parent and the title is uh, title and also we need to give a window size in here it is a tuple so 400 by 300 like this and after this I'm going to create a class my panel that inherits from wx dot panel and uh, in here uh, we are going to write our init method our constructor so let me just parent add my panel so I have a complete video series on WX Python uh, you can watch that and the last one is that uh, in every uh, uh, when we run our uh, WX Python application we need to create a class my app so that inherits from WX dot app and uh, and on a net method we are going to run our uh, this uh, application so first we need to create uh, object of our frame and my frame and the parent is none also we need to give a title to this uh, I call it WX Python window and I want to show the frame self dot frame dot show show and at the end I need to return to so now I need to create uh, the object of uh, my app so and we need to run the loop so uh, main loop also we need to call our this uh, because we have created our my frame uh, my panel and we need to call that in the constructor of my frame so self dot panel and we can call it my panel and you need to give self so now let me just run this and we will see a window in here so now you can see this is our window in WX Python so now we have saw all GUI frameworks and uh, five GUI frameworks in my opinion PySci2 and PyQt5 is the more, more powerful GUI frameworks but it's not free uh, they have commercial license uh, and uh, tkinter, uh, kiwi with uh, WX Python they are our free GUI frameworks that you can use so thank you guys uh, please subscribe to my channel and also like and share the videos